So if we actually want to start writing raw SVG code, we need a text editor. You already have one on your machine, most likely, regardless of whether you're on a Mac or on a PC. And even if you're on like a Chromebook or a mobile device, you have options as well. So I'm going to show you how to set up a few really quickly, regardless of whether you're on Mac or PC. So first off, what do I mean when I say a text editor? We need something that writes in plain text format. There are two basic text formats when it comes to simple text editors, plain text and rich text. Plain text is just text. And you might say, well, how is that different from rich text? Well, rich text includes like fonts and font sizes and weights like bold or thin or styles like italics or underline and plain text doesn't. You don't have fonts in plain text. You don't have font sizes. Now, of course, there is a font being used and there is a font size being used, but that's based on the properties of your editor, not based on the document itself. So you can't change stuff mid document like you can in rich text. So how do we set them up? Let's start with the Mac since that's what I'm on. The program you're looking for is called text edit right here. For me, that's in this other folder. If you can't find yours, you can use your search function up here. So text edit. This is what you want it to look like. You don't want any rulers. You don't want any font options. Yours probably doesn't look this way. Yours probably looks, let's close it and reopen it. Like this fonts, font sizes, styles, etc. Alignments. I forgot to mention alignments. Lots of stuff. We don't want this. So we need to change it. So you need to go up here to text edit and go to preferences. You want to change this to plain text. You can change your fonts if you want. I like to use Inconsolata because it's easy to tell the difference between like a one and an L or an uppercase I as well as pretty easy to tell the difference between a zero and a capital O. And when you're working with the raw code, that can be important. I'm going to make my font size a little bigger so you can see what I'm doing. And let's see anything else. Let's not check spelling. I don't want it to tell me that some of the SVG code is spelled incorrectly just because it's not recognizable English. I don't want you to automatically correct my spelling. I don't need rulers. Don't do any of those smart copy paste, smart quotes, or smart dashes. No text replacement. I want none of that. If we go to open and save, I don't want that. Now later on, we can talk about embedding SVG code graphics into HTML, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that just for later on. Other than that, everything else looks pretty good. So now if I quit text edit without saving and I open a new one, there we go. That's what I wanted. So this is now ready for the next video. If you're on a PC or you're on a mobile device, I'll show you your options for that next. So if you're on the PC, go to your start menu and we're going to look for notepad. You could try to find it, but I would just search for it. So here it is. This is what we want. So you can see it's already in plain text format. We don't have to go in and modify anything like we did on the Mac. Now, if we do go to format, we can change what font we're using and we can change the, the size. By default, mine is using Consolas. You could switch to Courier. There's some other ones that you can switch to as well. I'm okay with Consolas. I think Consolas is fine. So that's what I'm going to stick with. If you're on some sort of mobile device, we're going to head over to rapidtables.com. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm looking at here. We're going to scroll down to web design. And right here, third one down in that category is web tools. If we scroll down towards the bottom, third one from the bottom, SVG viewer and editor. And this is what it should look like. We have a little bit of SVG code here already, including code that loads a square, but we'll talk about some of that later. So if you're on some sort of device that doesn't have a plain text editor, here's an online option for you.